Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos which cover various different skills using spreadsheet software. We're going to start really, really simple and build our way up. There are lots of fairly powerful things we can do in spreadsheet software, but we need to learn the basics first. This series is designed to be used by anyone learning how to use spreadsheets, but in particular, hopefully it will be useful for those doing a unit of work in school on spreadsheets maybe. Also, if you're doing an IT related qualification, often there is coursework or an assessment which involves various different skills in spreadsheet software. And so hopefully these videos will help as well. For now though, I want to just give a brief overview of what this software is and show you how to get set up so we are ready to begin. Okay, so first of all, a one slide overview of what spreadsheets are. So spreadsheets are a type of software, so it's not any one program, it's more a category of software, a type of software, designed primarily for storing and processing data in a very, very organized way. And so that organization is really the key of what a spreadsheet is. Really, we're talking about tables here, so storing data in a tabular, a tabular format. And spreadsheets can save a lot of data so data which would be really hard to handle unless it was stored in, say, a database. And it's good at processing data. Processing means doing something to the data, not just leaving it there. There are lots of different operations we can do. And in particular, spreadsheets are focused on numerical data. So you can have text data as well, as we'll see. But numerical data is data to do with numbers. And they're very good at doing various different processing on numbers. So lots of different calculations which would be very hard for us to do by hand or on paper. Because of this, they're often used with financial matters. So things like budgeting, budgeting being, you know, have you got enough money? What can you afford? What can't you afford? And also forecasts. So predicting in the future, what will happen to your business, say. Often we associate spreadsheets, or I do personally at least, with accountants and other people working in finance. So sort of number crunching on a laptop um, and a calculator. In reality, spreadsheets are used by every business pretty much um, and so if you're ever going to have an office job it's very very likely you're going to use a spreadsheet even if it's not for core purpose of your job they are used really really often and one of the issues is that they have so many powerful features but actually many many people who are maybe doing jobs which need spreadsheets don't actually bother to use and learn how to use them properly it's a bit of a joke at this point that some people just on their CVs when they're applying for jobs will list that they can use spreadsheet software and actually that use is just them doing something really, really basic and they can't do even more powerful stuff. Certainly when I learned spreadsheets back in when I was, I don't know, 12 or 13 in ICT class, I didn't think I'd ever need it, but it turns out I did and always regretted it especially because my first ever job was a part-time job and it took me maybe three days to do something which should have taken me maybe two hours if I had learnt how to use spreadsheet software properly. So it is a skill, it is a really valued skill in businesses because so many people are rubbish at spreadsheets. So it's worth taking the time to learn them properly. When we are talking about spreadsheets, we're talking about the entire category of software, not any one particular example of a spreadsheet. But the one example we're going to be doing in this playlist is Microsoft Excel. So that is by far the most well-known and most used example of spreadsheet software. Not the only example. And so I'm calling this title, I'm titling this spreadsheets because you could follow along with other software, but Microsoft Excel is what I'd recommend you use. And whether we are looking at Excel or spreadsheets more generally, we can further split them into three categories. We have, first of all, our desktop applications, so the programs we are downloading and installing on our computer. We can access those without any internet, which is useful. And they will have all of your key features, so they're not missing any features you'd have, say, online. So we can have online applications, web applications, which you have access to over the internet. So you just have to go onto your web browser, go to this website and access the application that way. It doesn't require any download, which can be really convenient. The downside is that usually they are missing some of the features which would be inside of a desktop application. And finally, we have mobile applications, which are downloaded and installed on your phone or tablet as opposed to your desktop computer. The issue with these is they often are missing many, many features of the original desktop application. Web applications are generally quite good and may only be missing some advanced features, but the mobile applications are really not as good. If you have a really powerful tablet, then maybe the application will be okay. But if you've got a phone, this is a, a screenshot from Excel on the phone. It's really crowded. It's going to be really, really hard to use. I would definitely recommend you stay away from mobile apps 
for spreadsheets and I would definitely recommend you try and get set up with desktop apps. I'll show you how to download the desktop and access web applications right now. First of all, let me show you how to get installed and set up with the desktop version of Microsoft Excel. You may have it already without even realizing it's the sort of program which can lurk on your computer. So if you search for Excel, which is spelled E-X-C-E-L on your computer, you may well find you have the app already, even if you didn't realize. Of course, if you have the app, and you open it, um, you don't need to keep watching this because um, you've got it already. If you haven't got it, let me show you how to get it. Okay, if you go to www.office.com in a web browser, you'll go to a website like this. This is Microsoft's website for their Office suite of applications. So Excel is one of these many applications for general Office use. It's why you may have Excel without even realizing because it's packaged with other software as well. So if you haven't got it and need to buy it, you can go to Get Office here. I'd really recommend you don't buy anything for this because it is a little bit expensive. And also because if you belong to a school or college or university, it's very, very likely your organization has paid for Office for you. So you can figure this out by going to sign in and signing in with your school or your college or whatever email account. If you sign in with your personal account, unless you have bought it, it won't come up. Okay, so I've signed in with the login from my school and you may get redirected to your own organization's login page like I did. That's fine, just log in. You'll come back to Office once you are signed in, okay? And because I used it before, I've got all of my files here which I have to blank out. But I've got the applications here which I have access to. This is a place I can now mention we have access to the online version. So if you click Excel over here, it will load up a the online version, the web application version of Excel. So I can create a new blank workbook here to have a look at it. So web applications are good because they're quite versatile. I haven't even downloaded anything yet and I've access to what looks like the full version of Excel. So it's quite good, but it doesn't have every single feature. So I definitely recommend you still try and download the desktop. But worst case scenario, you can always access this Excel web, web application by going to office.com and launching the web app from there. But if you go back to office.com in order to actually download the application, if you get over here, when it loads in a second, you'll see a button which says something like install Office. If you click this, a further button will say Office 365 applications. This will download all of the applications over here, which if you haven't got them already, it's valuable to get because you're paying for them or someone is paying for them for you. So you click this and you, depending on the browser you're in, you'll get some download. Here it's asking me to save a file. And I save it and it's downloading for me. I can then go to where this is saved and click it or double click it to open it. You may get a window with some security warning, that's fine, this is trusted, you can run this program. And you may get also an administrator box, just press yes to that. And then once it opens, you'll get a loading screen like this. So this may take a second or two or a minute or two, though only a second there. And then you may get a screen like this come up where it's downloading Office. Because it's downloading multiple bits of software, this may take a little while depending on your internet speed. And so this screen may be left either on your taskbar or hidden away somewhere. So you can leave it and once it finishes, we'll come back. Okay, and about five minutes later, I now get this lovely animation. I can now close this down and should be able to open Excel now. So like before, you should be able to now, in your search bar, search for Excel and open it. I had it already, so no change here. You may, once you open it, be asked to sign in. Again, just sign in with the same email address you signed in to office.com. So it should be your school or college one, unless you have your own uh, subscription to Office. Excel is one example of spreadsheet software, and it's the one I'm going to be using in my videos. But you can also have an alternative. So this is Apache OpenOffice. If you go to openoffice.org, there's a download button very similar to um, on Office. And you can download the installation. It's This one's free, so no login required, which is good. But it's a little bit different to Excel. If you have a Mac, you may want to download Apple Numbers, which is their version, Apple's version of spreadsheet software. If you have a Windows computer, you can't access Numbers, but you can if you have a Mac. It, as far as I can tell, I've never used it, but as far as I can tell, it's similar, but it's different in some ways to Excel. And I would still suggest you use Excel if you're going to watch these videos because the differences may make things a little bit more confusing. And Excel is still commonly used more so than Numbers in businesses, even if people have Macs. 
if for some reason you really can't download some software on your computer you can use a web application instead I showed you briefly Excel online before if you go to office.com and then once you sign in you can go to Excel and open up the web, web application which looks as I say very very similar to the desktop version but it is missing a few bits and pieces but it's fine at least initially an alternative to this is Google Sheets this has even less features than Excel online but is which you may find easier you have to sign in with a Google account but this is free as well I won't show you how to install mobile applications because I wouldn't massively recommend you do so but they are quite straightforward to find in the App Store on your phone or tablet but like I say stick to either the desktop application ideally Excel or worst case scenario use the online web application instead at the end of every video where I think there needs to be some practice to have understood for content I'm going to include some try now exercises which are suggested exercises for you to try to try and um, make sure you understand the content for so this video is really simple just try and have access to a spreadsheet application ideally Microsoft Excel desktop but there are some alternatives on the screen here